This is Still Lion's Den. And our next entrepreneur is Blessing Momo, whose passion for fashion and saving the environment brings her before the lions. Will she be able to cut a deal in the den? Good day, lions. My name is Blessing Momo, the CEO of Link Clothing. I'm looking forward to your investment of 10 million in return of 5% equity share. It's a common saying, you dress the way you want to be addressed. Link is a fashion design house that specializes in upcycle textile waste. We produce clothing for women and men between the ages of 18 to 50 years. We launched in 2020 and we have produced over 250 units of clothing with, with 700,000 Nera turnover from door to door and relationship selling. This month, we launched our Ruby Limited collection and we have produced over 100 units of those clothing and we have sold 65 units of those clothing. And we are scheduled to launch our sum, Diamond Summer collection in August. For expansion, we recently registered on Jumia and we have set up our social media pages. Lions, with your partnership, we can make Link a household name and a global brand. Thank you very much. And please, you are invited to come and take a look at the clothing. Blessing Momo is looking for 10 million Naira in exchange for a 5% stake to transform her upcycle fashion business, Link Clothing, into a household name. Leading service provider, Dan Ngarim, is curious to understand Blessing's journey to Link Clothing. Blessing, what were you doing before Link, before you formed Link? Okay, I was working as an accountant. I had to um, leave the job for career advancement and to pursue my dreams. But in terms of specifics, what makes you different? My clothing lines, we focus more on upcycle textile waste. In the clothing industry, 80, about 80,000 um, tons of clothes are produced every year. And about 10 to 15% of that clothing are waste. So there's another company that buys those clothes, those waste clothing, and ship them down to Africa. So I get to, I source my product from ABBA, go there, pick those um, materials, and use it to make a finished product. I like the sustainability factor. That means you're thinking of the environment, you're thinking of sustainability, that's brilliant. Good progress in the den for blessing, as sustainability enthusiast Dan Ngarim approves of her saving the earth, one needle and thread at a time. After taking a closer look at her lineup, the emperor of the hospitality business, Paul Onwanibe, wants to take a closer look at the numbers. In terms of revenue, you said you sold 65 out of the 100 units you've made. Yes, this Since month. This month alone? Yes. But 65 this month? Yes. So, so um, you started this business in a, a year ago? Yes, last year. So in that one year, how much revenue have you made? 700. The gross profit is about um, 544,000. Um, 704, and our net profit is about 211,894, um, which is 30.72%. Um, Hmm. Well, you're an accountant. Oh, yes. hmm. I like, I like that. <laughs> hmm. How do you arrive at a valuation of 200 million naira? For the projection for link clothing for the next um, three years, we are expecting to produce like this year about 2,000. 2,000 units? Yes, 2,000 units. Okay. And um, which will give us about um, 5 million. Okay. Then uh, second year, we are expected to produce 4,500 units, which will give us about 12 million, 12.6. 12 then um, the third year, we are expecting to produce 7,000, which will give us 21 million. Why do I not yet see a 200 million company, even in three years' time? Blessing Momo's inability to justify her reach valuation has shifted the air in the den. But can fashion mogul Adenike Ognisi stitch her back on course to getting an investment? Blessing, 
issues. Bless him, bless him. You're very energetic. You're very passionate about this. I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but you don't have a business here. All of the fabric in Abba is not sustainable fabric. That's what they can buy. They go into a warehouse as big as this place, and they say from here to here, you wait, they pay for it, so it's lot. So whatever you find in there is what you take away with you, okay? A part of me is upset with you, but a part of me also knows it's because you don't know. This is not the fashion industry. It doesn't represent the fashion industry at all. It's a hobby that you have. And you happen to have gotten somebody to invest in you. You're taking leftover fabrics. You're making single units. You can't scale that. You have to design millions of designs we have for, for them. all the different pieces. This is my industry. You have a lot of energy and a lot of passion. You like, be, you like the sound of being a designer. It's not about that. At the end of the day, it's a business that has to make money. I don't find this an investable business. I don't see a future for it, and I will not be investing, so therefore I'm out. A glass-shattering moment as the lion in the fashion business unearths the foundation of Blessing's business model. And Nigeria's principal money manager, Bolaji Balogun, seems to agree. I don't know if you understand the point she's making, Blessing, which is that in this business, um, it's all about your ability to produce volume. And the more volume you produce, the better your margins and the more sustainable your business will become. But um, we are working towards that because uh, outside the upcycle um, takes our waste, we are also adding the normal fabric because of um, getting to max production, big fabrics and um, to scale Blessing. up. Your selling point when you walked in was the sustainability factor. So yeah. we are looking for your differentiation factors here. And it's like it's fallen flat. As a hobby, fantastic. But as a business, the numbers does not justify it. It doesn't justify the valuation. Uh, you haven't anchored the environmental and sustainability factors for me. And um, above all, you can't scale this business. For those reasons, I'm afraid I will not be investing, so I'm out. Another blow struck as Dan and Garem, initially sold on Blessing's differentiation factor, opts out of investing. With Blessing's hope for an investment now hanging by a thread, will Kiari Booker offer her a much needed lifeline? Blessing, you are such a smart lady. I think you can make a difference if should you decide to pivot somewhere else. Um, this is a highly competitive business, not just Nigeria, but globally speaking. And starting with, by limiting yourself indicates that you actually wanted to punch below your weight. And for those reasons, I am out. With three lions out, our accountant turned fashion designer is feeling the pressure. And Polaji Balogun is hoping to turn down the heat by asking about her business structure. How many people do you employ? Um, currently, um, I don't have any employee, just me, co-founder and the investor that has invested. How much did the investor invest? Um, the investor has invested over um, five million. Five million, for um, what percentage did you say they own? Um, 15. Your five million investor valued your company at 33 million. When was that va value done? Um, we just, um, that was this year, just um, some weeks ago. You're basically saying that you've moved this from business 30. from a 33 million Naira valuation business to a 200 million business. <laughs> from January to now. 
Yeah. That's quite a huge jump. It's quite a jump. It's based on negotiation. <laughs> so, so she's ready for it's negotiation. It's based on negotiation. Right? So, you negotiated a good deal. Yes, so I'm open to it. <laughs> if I offered you 200 million naira to buy the company off you, and I say you work for me, would you take, will you take it? <laughs> no, sir. You won't take it? No, sir. A hearty laugh cut short by Blessing's unwillingness to give up her entire company for 200 million naira. The exact value she has placed on her business. Paul Owanibe seems to have reached a decision. The two people either side of me who, who understand this business more than I do um, are out for the reasons that we've mentioned here. The scalability is a big issue. Um, the valuation starting point is so is so far away. So the anchoring is, you've anchored it too far away. Even if you came down to your la your current investor, it's still it's still a lot of money for a business that can't be scaled that you can't see an immediate, quick future for. Um, so for those reasons, unfortunately as well, I'm out. The seams of blessing Momo's pitch unravels with four lions now out. Will Bolaji Balogun be the stage in time that saves her nine? Blessing, um, unfortunately, the more that you, you know, talk about the business, you know, the more it becomes apparent that um, the business isn't really sustainable in the long term. You know, and profit and strong revenues actually, first and foremost, is what makes a business, you know, sustainable. But regrettably, um, I shall not be investing and I'm out. Good luck. It's all blues for green enthusiast, Blessing Momo, as her business is shown to not be sustainable nor investable. And she leaves the den empty-handed, but unrelenting. I feel sad, but that does not mean I'll stop my business. Lion's Den is proudly sponsored by Ecobank and Chapel Hill Denim and supported by Bank of Industry and Development Bank of Nigeria with the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service as strategic partner. Mm -hmm.